and like I said it's, it's kind of like the same thing but if you use different shapes you can also use that so that one was the R shape and this one is like a triangle shape right here I saw this thing uh, this video on uh, was the arrow zoom search on YouTube for arrow zoom uh, one word and you'll see what I'm talking about but their controls were so funky um, however it was a great idea it was a good idea and I made one right here in compass and you can do the same thing it's just that it feels much better and more natural uh, so let me show you this on here okay there you go now you can just zoom with one handed so if I zoom there or I zoom out one handed uh, trigger button hold the trigger button and uh, do the wheel okay that's it <coughs> and uh, I think I showed you this last time in my other video but uh, Oh, you can do a resize also, like resize the window. Uh, instead of holding Alt, you know, most people they not Alt. Do they use Alt? No. I mean, yeah, Alt and middle click. That's how you resize the thing. Uh, you can use your gestures just to do that too. You don't have to use the keyboard. And to do this, what did I do here? Oh, okay. So I did this. So I go, whoop, and there you go. Now I can just resize with one hand and uh, using gestures and that, right? One handed only. Um, that's what you can do there too and this one I showed you last time about grouping windows so let me give you an example of that let's see here give you an example let's say I open uh, oh yeah let's open the script folder again okay I have two windows here and let's say I want to uh, group it how would I do this so I use this one and then most of these I'll explain it in a minute so I go up and now I just go bam and now we're going to use the G to uh, group the windows right now how do you know it's grouped if I move this both of them will move at the same time I took I turn off the glow so there's no glow okay and now if you want to tab it you make a T okay there you go you tab it now and most of the time we, we go here and then we do this that thing is just too slow okay so that's why I have this thing here left and right here so if I go that way or I go back I can go back that's what I do and to undo it I go to U and I undo it there you go now this one is not affected by this one anymore so close that and there you go that's how you do some of most of the stuff that I have here but I'll post this on uh, my uh, blog so you guys can have some example to do okay and uh, what else is here that uh, I want to talk about oh yeah uh, like the different buns that you can buy um, let's go record this again okay this one is no movement but you can do a trigger button and you bind it to a different button so if I go trigger button and there you go the X means you held it down alright so if I go do it again you open the, the windows that I want again you see no gestures okay you see no uh, green and blue anything just the one button and the X okay another way is just the uh, the button alone there's no X say really quick if you do it really quick uh, so that's uh, some of the ways that you can record a stroke not just uh, the most of these right here these are what most of the people use you know the blue and the green that's it however if you see a red one that's kinda like uh, falls into uh, the advanced gestures another thing is I want to talk about is uh, these up here and uh, this one uh, plays a different role also so let me give you an example uh, like our close tab here right uh, that we did for uh, chromium and the hotkey for that is uh, control W however in the terminal it's not control W it's shift control W so that's why uh, to close a tab in, in the terminal uh, you have to do a different command so this is shift control W and you see how it's dark uh, up like that that's because you're assigning just to that program only otherwise if you go to default here that's globally this one is a specific app that you have open and uh, give me another example okay so this is globally and let's go down to chromium see I have chromium as my default when I do the Y it will open YouTube however if I'm using uh, epiphany for example you see the commands are different because it applies to different browsers okay uh, so that's what you can do to a specific app uh, and you can still use the same gestures if you like 
Otherwise, you can switch the dress, the gestures, and the hotkeys, and the commands, whatever you need to do. Uh, let me explain some of these other ones. So I told you to hide it, right over here. What is it? Um, hide the tray icon. Uh, when you do this, make sure you you um, make a new one and use the miscellaneous. Okay, miscellaneous here, and it'll say uh, hide and show here. That's what I like people to do, and basically that's what we did in the beginning. And this one will hide it and open it. So that's what I want people to do. Another thing is, uh, what was that? Uh, Unminimize here, right? And this is miscellaneous. Also, it's a predetermined thing, and you, this is what uh, to do to unminimize there. All right. Oh yeah, and um, give you an example. Like I had Chromium last time or something. You can do it with Firefox or whatever. But uh, if if it's a, a weird address, like a, an address that has like a, a you know um, a plus sign or a question mark or whatever or equal sign, make sure you have that in uh, single quotes. So the beginning single quotes and end it with a single quote. Okay, and then that will work uh, to open a, a URL of your choice. Uh, so that's that and what else is here that I need to say oh yeah the scroll thing here this is the only thing I know I, I can do with the scroll so let me show you that let me show you the on-screen display also so you can understand what I'm doing okay on-screen display and let's open a um, so just remember this is the triangle to activate it but uh, let's open this again so to do the scroll uh, let's do our shape it's a triangle and you see the top uh, right corner you have a uh, scroll uh, on screen display and now you can click on uh, a button on your mouse and you can scroll now really quick like that that's the only thing that I can know how to do with that but after that you can move it around again so that's that for the scrolling and uh, what else is here that we can do I'm not sure I'm gonna try to cover most of these but uh, hopefully you guys understand how to record a stroke in, in different methods um, alright I think that's uh, mostly it I don't want to explain anymore oh, as far as the workspace is concerned someone asked me this uh, if you switch to a certain uh, a specific workspace you have to set that up in your hotkey uh, shortcuts first so it says like uh, what is it what does it say here uh, switch to something like that what is it Oh, there you go. I think this is it, right? Switch to a uh, workspace. Make sure you assign a hotkey, and then after that, uh, you can use the hotkey in here, and you can switch uh, workspace really quick, right? So I showed you this last time, right? And that's why I told you to turn off the on-screen display. It's annoying. It just flashes up here. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it that I wanted to say. Mm, most of these not important and I'll post uh, you know all, all of these that I have right now so it'll, it'll give you an example of what uh, you could do